Hi, welcome back to my mom life. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Jordan and today we are making ice cream cone cupcakes. Here are the ingredients. So you will need some ice cream cones and any flavor of cake mix that you'd like as well as the ingredients that you need to make that cake mix. I'll show you the ingredients for the frosting in a little bit. So the first thing you're going to want to do is follow the directions on the back of your cake mix. So I'm just doing a yellow cake mix here because that is what my kids like. They like chocolate too, but I just went with yellow. And I am going to add in the eggs, oil, and water and mix it up really well. This recipe makes 24 cupcakes, just like the box would make 24 cupcakes normally. You're just gonna bake them in the ice cream cone. So it's super cool. The kids loved it and this would be really awesome for a birthday party or a summer party. Now that I have my cake mix all ready to go, I'm gonna prepare my pan. So I have my cupcake pan here. My pan is extra large, so it does all 24 in one pan. You could use two 12 count cupcake pans or whatever you have, and you're gonna cover it with foil and then smooth down the foil like I'm doing here and you can kind of see the little outline of the cups and I'm just going to put a hole in each cup in the center and that is where we are going to stick our ice cream cones in. So I'm going to do that with all of the cupcake cups and then we will stick our cones in. Preferably you want this kind of ice cream cone. It would be a lot harder to keep the ones with the pointed end up, standing up in your pan. So that is why the flat bottom cones are the best for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill my cupcake pan. Everything else about this recipe is completely basic and you do it according to the box directions except for the ice cream cones. So I'm gonna fill my cones. You do not wanna overfill these because I did overfill a few of them and I'll show you what happened, but you wanna fill them about halfway full because they will definitely rise in there for you. So I filled them about halfway full and that ended up using all of my batter, so it was perfect. I'm gonna get these filled and then we will bake them up and I will show you how to make the frosting. I baked these in a 350 degree oven for about 12 minutes until they were golden on top. And this is what they looked like when they were done baking. As you can see, there is some spillage on a couple of my cupcakes. It was totally fine though. The kids did not care at all. And I can kind of pick that part off. If you were having a party and serving these, you can kind of pick that part off and it was totally fine. So I went ahead and let my cupcakes cool. And while they were cooling, I made my frosting. So I have some butter here that is room temperature, some vanilla extract, powdered sugar, salt, and half and half. I will have the recipe for this. It's just a buttercream, a vanilla buttercream. I will have it down in the description box for you if you are interested. You could use jarred frosting if you wanted, and that'd be totally fine, but I prefer homemade buttercream. So I made some really quick. I'm gonna beat the butter in a stand mixer, or you could use a hand mixer if you have that. And then I'm going to scrape down the sides of the bowl um, a couple of times just to make sure that the butter is whipping evenly. And you wanna get it until, you wanna whip it until it is nice and creamy. And then we will add in the rest of the ingredients. Now 
Now I'm going to add in the powdered sugar. And like I said, I'll have measurements for you down below. I just make this so often that I just know how much powdered sugar to add. But check the description box for measurements. Then I'm going to add in the vanilla extract. <laughs> While it is whipping pretty high, I'm gonna add in the half and half and get it to the consistency that I want. And then that is pretty much it. I do add in a little bit of salt because I think that it cuts the sweetness and just a tiny, tiny bit, like a pinch of salt. So once my buttercream has whipped and is nice and creamy and fluffy, I'm gonna go ahead and put it into a piping bag. That's totally optional. You can do this a lot easier and just spread it on if you want, but I was trying to make them look super pretty. So I have this piping bag and some maraschino cherries and some rainbow sprinkles. So I am going to go ahead and pipe the frosting on. I get these disposable piping bags at Walmart. They have the like disposable tip on them and everything. So you just throw the whole thing away when you're done. And I find that a lot easier than having to clean the tips just because I don't use it that often. If I were to use them all the time, then I would invest in some proper tips and piping bags. So I'm going to go ahead and frost up all of these cupcakes and put the sprinkles on and then I will top a few of them with cherries. I didn't top all of them because some of my kids are kind of picky about that, but I think the ones with cherries turned out so cute. Here are our finished cupcakes. They turned out so, so cute, cuter than I imagined. I think these would be perfect for a summer party. Fourth of July is coming up and these would be awesome to have at a Fourth of July party. So I hope that you try them. If you do, let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you subscribe and stick around. And if you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.